So we know a little bit about what terpenes are, but now let's talk about some specific terpenes. Hi, I'm Dr. Lane Phillips, and today we're gonna to talk about some specific terpenes that may be of value to your health. Remembering terpenes are the essential oils or aromas of the plant, that doesn't mean that's all they're there for. There are a lot of specific effects that are known and studied when you're dealing with terpenes. The first one we're gonna talk about is pinene. Pinene smells like a pine cone. If you look up pinene and going into a forest, there's a lot of things that say, as soon as you go into a forest, you get this relaxation that comes over to you. It's not just that you're out in the wilderness, but it's actually the pinene that's affecting you through that smell and aroma. The smell of pinene can create a sense of relaxation. It can create a sense of alertness. It's also very valuable when you're dealing with pain like chronic inflammation. So pinene, once again, smells like pine cone, and this is one of the great terpenes that exists. Myrcene. Myrcene is the most common thing you're gonna find within the cannabis plant, whether it be hemp or marijuana. It has a woody smell and usually makes up about 60% of the terpene in the plant. This is great as an antioxidant, as an anti-inflammatory, and can also create calmness. Linalool, and you know this maybe as the smell of lavender, is one of the most calming terpenes that there is. There are some times you do not want to use linalool, especially if you're a nursing mother or have a baby, as lavender has been indicated not to be used then. Lavender is one of the most calming of all the terpenes. You know it in bath bombs and other floral scents. And if you have anxiety, you would want to see linalool as a terpene in the product that you get. So limonene is one of the most common terpenes and it's one that you all have smelled before because it's the citrus smell. If you've ever mopped your floor, it usually has the lemon scent. Unfortunately, that's usually synthetic and we're talking about the natural one. Corophylline is one of the most interesting of all of the terpenes to me. In this case, we're gonna talk about beta corophylline and this has a tremendous effect of being an anti-inflammatory. And in particular, I personally am gonna study its effect on the gut for all these people who have irritable bowel and inflammatory bowel syndrome. I think beta carophylline is gonna be one of the most studied of all of the terpenes. And I think it's really important for you to look for beta carophylline in your products that you buy. 